We're Trent and Allie, and every adventure comes with challenges. I'm nervous. We set out to build our dream home in the mountains with no experience and very little help. Kevin, last time you said it wasn't gonna snow till Christmas. This is a dusting. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's been the hardest thing we've ever done. and the most rewarding. <gasps> oh! <laughs> yes! Yeah, baby! Today, as we power through drywall. Yes! Not there. The last time we'll have to use the bazooka. We're realizing what an incredible year it has been. It's like really happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's really happening. <laughs> it's starting right now. <laughs> it is. What's up guys and good morning. Welcome back. We are going to be getting after it again. We are still knee deep in taping and mudding. So I think uh, in the last episode, we ended up getting maybe like a half of the house or maybe like a third of the house completely taped. And I'm hoping that today and tomorrow we're gonna finish taping the entire house. But today is going to be a little bit different. Now, I'm sure you guys saw in one of the previous episodes, Allie is actually helping her parents prepare a house that they're renting here in Salt Lake City. So she is gonna be down there helping with that house pretty much all day. Now, I do see comments every once in a while from time to time of people that say like, hey Allie, why are you saying like, we're gonna do this? Like, you don't ever do anything. Allie does a lot. Allie is a huge part of this team. She's the biggest part of this team and she is the behind the scenes part of the team 100%. She does pretty much all the filming, she does all the editing, she does a lot of stuff that just isn't really noticed by people because Brandon and I are just doing the grunt work. Now, today, Allie is not going to be here, which means I'm going to be filming everything we're doing, and you're probably gonna notice a little bit of a quality difference in this video, at least from today. Tomorrow, she'll be back and everything will be good. So you guys can see the beginning, and or the first half, and the second half of this video, We'll have a little bit difference in production quality, but doesn't mean we're not gonna be knocking it out. I'm gonna be taping as much of this house as I can today because once the taping's done, we just gotta do like three coats of mud over the tape, a little sanding, and we're ready for paint. We're gonna get everything knocked out, and I know we're gonna be in before the baby comes. But I think Brandon just showed up. We're gonna go inside and get to work. We're not necessarily excited to like continue taping. Uh, we did spend, you know, two days in the last video taping and I feel like we got a lot done. And I just have to say, taping is rewarding because you start covering up all the seams and it starts looking a lot nicer. Now, also one of our friends, Sean, came over uh, a couple days ago after we finished taping and he came in and he looked and he was like, man, it's like the taping looks really good, man. He's like, all your corners and your seams, like they look really nice. And like, that gives me a lot of confidence knowing that one, if it was bad, Sean would definitely tell us it was bad. And two, when you get up here and look at these corners after the mud is dried, they look fantastic. Like they look really, really good. When you're applying the tape, you don't actually know if it's gonna look that good once it dries. But pretty much everywhere that we put tape that I can see, it like held really nicely. It's super flat in the corners. It's like absolutely beautiful. <sighs> All we gotta do is finish taping and start doing our, you know, floating our coats of mud over the tape. And I think we're gonna be really happy with how this turns out. All right, so I know there's probably a lot of people that are looking at our big bazooka or tape gun, and maybe you think it's unnecessary, but I'm literally gonna show you right now something that Brandon and I can do in basically under a minute. It would probably take 
20 to 30 minutes to do by hand and wouldn't turn out nearly as nice. And I'm just gonna show you. We're gonna take this top seam that is like 18 to 20 feet long. Doing this in one piece by hand would be a nightmare. There would be wrinkles. It would be very difficult. We're gonna do it in under a minute. So just like that, the tape is applied to the wall with mud underneath it, which is the most crucial part. If you're doing this by hand, you have to put mud on the bottom of the seam, mud on the top of the seam, press the tape in, hope you don't have any air bubbles in there anywhere, and then force all of the mud out. After we get the tape thrown up there like this, all we gotta do is drag the knife along it, use our roller, flatten it all out, and then clean out the extra mud. Super fast. I'll let you guys see the rest of the process too. So that took us seven minutes to do that entire thing. Now if we were to have to pre-mud, tape, press all the mud out from underneath the tape, and then do a skim coat and like squeegee that all out with the knives, that would easily take us like 20 to 30 minutes. So this is literally at least three times as fast as doing it the traditional way. And I think the quality comes out much, much better. So that's why I bought these tools is so that we could have a professional outcome, even though it's our first time because let's just put it this way, working with the knife and mud takes a lot of finesse and practice and we don't have time for that. So we're basically just uh, using the high-end tools to try and get a really nice product on the first try. And I think it's coming out pretty nice. All right, we've been working away for a minute. So he's been up here doing these pieces of tape that are up at the top of the ladder up there. He's absolutely crushing it. And let me just say, drywall guys work really fast. And I'm like struggling to even work at a regular pace. I'm not, uh, I'm not upset that we're doing this. I'm actually glad that we're doing this. And I think it's turning out really nice. It's just like, it's hot and I'm hungry. And Allie's not here to make us a snack. We've been getting snacks like midday every day. So like, I'm just I'm a little hungry. I'm a little thirsty. It's really hot, but we're plugging away. Catch my fall Need to be sure you hear my call Darkness surround me and I don't know why it's so hard to let go All right, we are moving on up to the upstairs. I'm pretty stoked. We got most of these. We got that corner seam all the way up to the roof, which is totally awesome. We got all the seams in this wall. Still have a couple of the high rise acts to do. I'm just not excited about doing that because to run the bazooka like across the wall at that height, it's not really possible. So we're gonna have to do it at least in two pieces on the top of ladders and it's just, it's not gonna be a lot of fun. I got all of the seams that are here in the stairway done. Just still have a couple of seams up top, this tall corner. And then it's like bedroom, bathroom, sunroom and we're done and i think it's only like it's only 12 30. so i think we can get most of the bedroom and a lot of these other walls done maybe the bathroom in the bedroom done by the time we have to go home today and then tomorrow we'll just do the high-rise stuff and the sunroom and we'll be done with taping and that's really exciting because even though this is like very transformative and it's really making a lot of progress and we're getting that much closer to painting it is a pain in the butt and look at me. I am like, I am one with the mud and I'm not happy about that. So I'll be happy when this is done. Well, it has been a few hours. Brandon and I knocked out quite a bit of the taping. In fact, I would say we're like 80% done or more uh, with taping the entire house. Everybody's favorite time, it is cleanup time. Look at how much mud gets gooped in and around and all over this thing. And it's a nightmare to clean. So maybe there are some downsides to having these like fast mechanisms that make the taping go quicker, but I think if we were doing this whole house by hand, we wouldn't be nearly as far as we are now. We got all of the ceiling and all of the walls done in here in the bathroom. All those seams, all those seams. 
All those seams were missing one right there and those two up there. And that's all of the seams that are not taped, excluding the sunroom. So we have the sunroom, those three seams, and then uh, of course the ones that are really high up on this side of the house. You know, I will say if it was just Brandon and I building this house, it would be much less fun, exciting, happy. Allie just like brings all the light. She brings all the light into this job. Without her, it's basically just two dudes building the house and they're like grumpy about it most of the time. And it's just not as much fun. So, uh, not that I don't love Brandon and not that Brandon doesn't love me and we don't have an awesome time working together, we do. It's just Allie adds like the spice. And I missed her today. Yeah. It took us a while to uh, clean up all the tools and I'm an absolute and utter mess. So now I'm probably going to take a shower and I'm gonna eat some delicious food. Hopefully Allie comes home soon and we will see you guys in the morning. We are back at it again today, and before we get started working on the house, I wanted to let you guys know today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe. Simply Safe is an effective, reliable, and safe home monitoring system. Order it online and install it yourself. Simply Safe on. You can customize options like motion sensors, cameras, a remote, please exit now, and door sensors, and it all ties into your keypad and home base. So we absolutely love Simply Safe. It is an awesome system. It's super easy to set up and they have this monitoring system which actually calls the police if something happens. So it's not just like a noise maker. I've said this many times, but my favorite feature is actually being able to check on the camera what's going on inside the trailer, especially because sometimes the dogs are here. We want to make sure that they're not getting into some nonsense. So if you guys are interested in checking out Simply Safe and you're in the market for a security system, this is the best one that you can buy in my opinion. If you guys want right now, you actually get 20% off and your first month free when you sign up for the interactive monitoring service. To learn more, you can go to simplysafe.com slash Trent and Allie, or you can just click the link in our description. Thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to finish my coffee and we're going to head in and get to work. I know a lot of you guys missed Allie yesterday. I did too, but guess what? She's back today. She's gonna be making this video a lot better than it's been probably so far. Um, I did wanna point out something that today is a very, very special day or a very sad day, one, one of the two. When we first started building this house, I kept telling myself, we can probably get it done in like a year to a year and six months or somewhere in that range. And today is the exact day that we started excavation last year. Wow. So it has been one whole year since we actually broke ground. Now, we're pretty far, we've done a lot. And yeah. to make it actually a little bit more fair, uh, Brandon and Allie and I didn't take over until like September 21st before it was like the excavator and the concrete guys and there were some things there that took a lot of time but I am really excited to say it's been one year to the day since we broke ground and we're doing drywall so <laughs> I think uh, we got really far yesterday we have some really high up stuff to do and then the sunroom we're gonna get those seams taped up today and we are going to start putting on corner beads, I think, because we'll be done with taping. I'm so excited to be done with taping. And I can't wait to get the finished coats of mud on so that we can paint the walls and really transform this place. <laughs>
Yesterday was a super productive day for me. I was helping my parents get things ready for the house that they're gonna be living in, which is so exciting. We've been trying to convince them for years to move to Salt Lake City, to just be closer to us, to be more involved. They are close to retirement. They're not fully retired. And I think they have a lot of friends and family back east, so it's hard for them to leave DC. But now that there's a grandchild on the way, there's a little more motivation for them to at least be here part-time. So they're renting a house in Salt Lake and we're doing some painting and some touch-ups. It's a beautiful house, but it was built in 1924. So um, we're just gonna make sure that everything works properly and it's been a really fun process so far. Today, these guys should be finished taping completely. The sunroom has a little bit still to go, but I think um, the high-end stuff at the top of the ceiling is almost done, which is huge. Brandon has done an incredible job cleaning out all of the drywall scraps that need to be taken to the dump. And it's just making this place really transform into something I can really visualize as our house. It's exciting. And hopefully this process goes a little bit quicker than I expect. I always expect the worst. Expect the worst, hope for the best. You'll never be disappointed. So today's the day. It's a Friday, we're feeling good. It's a nice, beautiful day out here. We're gonna get some of this done. Pretty much done with the house as far as taping goes. <laughs> Brandon just informed me that there's a couple little six inch pieces that need to go in these uh, window sills. But other than that, we are taped. We're not mudded, but we're taped. And like from here, kind of looks like a professional crew did this. Yeah. It's really nice over there. Now we just have to go and do the sunroom and these other couple little pieces of tape. And then we can start on corner beads and pretty much this whole house is made of corner beads. Man, we knocked it out of the park in here. Hey! Literally, apart from what I just did, there's these two seams, mm -hmm. that little guy. And up. One here, one there, and the two corners. Cool. And we're done. Nice. Pressure of being filmed, huh? <laughs> One down, one to go. You getting this on film? You betcha. Help. You're killing it. Ah. Hold her there, Brandon. I'm back. <laughs> Not there. Last time we'll have to use the bazooka until we finish the basement or we build the wow, garage. Wow, nice. I love and hate this thing. <laughs> it's an amazing invention that really sucks. So we've got it done. We've got all of the taping except for a wow. couple of these little pieces that go in the corner and Brandon is just knocking those out really fast. I think maybe I would like to just quit. But <laughs> I'm gonna continue and probably start trying to do some corner beads and that will probably be the hardest part thus far. Ah, it's Friday and Saturday, Sunday, ah! Uh, <laughs> we are going to start going on to corner beads. We just finished up taping everything in the house. The tape 
is that, well, Brandon's doing a couple little pieces that he's finishing up in the window sills here. But as soon as he gets done with that, there will be no more taping in this house until we finish the basement. And I am really happy about that. Now we just have to use the flat boxes and float over the tape with mud, fill all the little nail hole or the screw holes again, and we'll be ready for paint. Yay! But before any of that can happen, we gotta do all the corner beads. And we didn't case any of the windows with wood. They're all cased with <laughs> drywall, which means every single window and every door gets corner bead around them. But other than that, there's not, well, oh, there is a lot of corner beads actually. I thought there wasn't that many corner beads because there's only like two or three outside corners in the entire house. But then the half wall gets corner beads on the top and all the way down. Little by little. Just a lot of corner beads. Good thing I ordered a lot from uh, LKL. I guess let's get started. Well, look at that. We got ourselves a corner bead. That's cool. Luckily, Trent just watched a couple YouTube videos on how to do this. And now we're about to do this. How's that for preparation? So far. It's really easy to staple them on, that's for sure. You want me to go around in mud? Yeah, why don't you grab the mud knife and okay. try your hand. Like the thing is that there's like all these little crusty pieces. That get stuck and then make huge imperfections because they get dragged around in perfect mud. Yeah, exactly. So like you don't, you, anytime there's like a little dried tidbit of anything, you want to get rid of it. Also, I've just never done this before, so I don't even know. Like maybe this is like a totally legitimate first coat. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. But like it looks really, really bad. <laughs> I'm having a lovely time relaxing and supporting Trent. Um, I helped for a little bit and I don't think I have the patience for this, honestly. And I know Trent really wants to do it himself anyway. So I'm gonna let him take over. I have no problems with that. He is putting in all the time and meticulousness that it takes to make this perfect. And in the meantime, I was just uh, scrolling through one of my pregnancy apps on my phone and found out that today the baby is 10 and a half inches long and it's three quarters of a pound. I'm a little bit over halfway and that's like about half of the length of a normal baby when they're born, so it makes sense. Just basking in that information as I support my husband here doing a fantastic job of drywall. Uh, it's a good thing I only have to do this like a hundred more times. <laughs> but in case the windows and drywall, we would literally have like three of these and I would be like, I don't even care. Yeah. But I just, they're, it's going to be everywhere. All I want is for this to turn out satisfactory. It doesn't have to be the best drywall job in town. I just want it to look like the second best. Like maybe you can't tell that it was my first time <laughs> unless you get up really close. The drywall guys right now are just like, ha, 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 look at this guy. They're just laughing at their computers so <laughs> hard right now. He's using dirty mud with a dirty knife and a dirty <laughs> pan and he's trying to get straight mud. What an idiot! <laughs> And then there's a couple guys that have tried it themselves that are saying, he's not doing too bad of a job. Mine looked way worse than that. Ever since we started drywall, people have been telling us, hire it out. If there's one thing that you could get a contractor for on this entire project, it's for drywall. You don't want to do it yourself. You want a professional crew to come in and they'll get it done in like a week, three to five days, done. 
And we've always thought, well, the point of this project is to build it ourselves. We want to learn how to do everything. We know it will take longer, but that's part of the fun of it is like the process and the journey and experiencing what it takes to do the drywall ourselves. And then knowing at the end of the build, hey, we did that. We did all of that ourselves. And honestly, up until now, it hasn't been that bad. And we've always talked about like, well, I don't know what people were really re recommending us to hire it out for because it's tedious and it takes a long time, but it's not that terrible. We just got to the terrible part. <laughs> We're trying to do corner beads and the skim coat over the corner bead. It's like a plastic piece of corner trim and there's these uh, holes in it. It's just vinyl and you staple it to the wall and then you mud over it and you have to make the mud extremely beautiful because that's what you'll paint and that's what you'll see. And it's turning out very bumpy and very difficult. So it's day one in the first five minutes, but uh, we're running into some problems. <laughs> things have been like difficult in their own respect and this actually isn't like difficult in the same way that some of those other things are difficult this is just frustrating mm -hmm. and infuriating but I think in the next episode when we start doing the rest of the corner beads I'm gonna start with a brand new bucket a brand new bag of mud I'm gonna clean all of the tools I'm not using this stupid plastic box because it keeps making little red shavings in the mud and we're gonna we're gonna do it we're gonna start fresh we're gonna start fresh and we're just gonna have the most beautiful corners in town but right now we're just having a learning experience <laughs> it's not great it's all part of the process it is part of the process and i would rather do web stiffeners right now. <laughs> Way rather do web stiffeners because web stiffeners they can just look as ugly as you want. It doesn't even matter. You can just slap them together. They can be crooked. There could be an inch gap. That's really the difference here: is framing, plumbing, roofing, all the other stuff. None of that is finish work, and this oh, is stuff that we're gonna see at the end of the build, and that's why it needs to be perfect and beautiful. Everything else could just be slap it together, call it good, looks great, and this is the first time that now it's like okay. This counts. I don't need everybody and their dog coming over and being like, why does that look like it's made of frosting? <laughs> <laughs> she just get Jill up here. She could probably do this better than I can. Jill, your sister? Yeah, it's yeah. Like a cake. She just got to get her little cake spatula out and smooth <laughs> it all over. <laughs> Next episode featuring Jilly G's gluten-free, here to mud and tape our drywall. I'm going to do the mudding and she's going to do the final smoothing. Is it gluten-free? It's good and free, yeah, you can eat this stuff. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend yeah, it. Not a bit of weed in there. <laughs> <laughs>I'm just gonna say that I'm feeling a little defeated. And I think that's mostly because like over the last two days we worked really hard to get all the taping done. And then like we had a small, short little blip of victory of like finishing the taping. And then it was like, move on to something else. And like the something else is harder and takes more finesse and is more frustrating and aggravating. And I'm just feeling a little defeated. You're doing so good. But it is Friday, <laughs> Monday is a new day. We will be back at it trying to knock out the rest of these corner beads, smoothing out the mud, and uh, hopefully getting to where we can start doing our skim coats over the tape. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure. If you did, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.